Hi, this is Dr. Sassi here to tell you about two new tools in Magic Bullet Looks. Diffusion Inhalation The exploration of cinematic is a beautiful journey and one of its core elements is the filmic aesthetic. The organic feel that film provides so easily might be a suitable case for many projects. It is simple to find a sweet spot and create synergy with the combination of diffusion and inhalation. Setting up a sequence of a shot, for example, in After Effects might require only an adjustment layer. This can be as fast as selecting a preset. Let's look at the parameters, as it might be easy to get your signature look in no time. Go to the preset and just select what you like. Perhaps you have already saved your personal presets here. Click and you are ready to go. Optical diffusion emulates a wide range of practical on-the-lens diffusion filters. We have explored a hundred different filters typically used in production. All default presets are carefully crafted based on captures with a typical high-end feature film camera. Those presets were shot with a single prime lens, allowing for good comparability. All of these are great starting points. We start with the overall effect by adjusting the density of the diffusion effect. After that, it is easy to dial in the diffusion range. Its value is based on the percentage of the full image resolution. Followed by the falloff, here we can easily expand or decrease the spread of the diffusion around highlights. To give it a specific quality, adjust the glow. And with this, we have the amount of luminance or bloom added to the highlights under control. Next, we like to fine tune the highlights only. This control allows you to adjust the density area based on highlights. Very helpful here is the preview highlights option. When set to on, allowing us to see the affected areas when adjusting highlights only. If we have some color in effect, then Luster will help you how the color control tints the diffusion effect. Luster only matters if color control has some saturation. The diffusion will be uniformly tinted at low Luster values according to the color control. At higher values, a chromatic separation occurs that still respects the chosen color but adds some dimensionality. The appearance of the filter characteristics from streak to diffuse can be changed quickly. Selecting quality levels allow for speed improvements, since optical diffusion requires some processing power. Choose between fast, production, best and extreme for better performance or higher quality. To produce colorful effects, adjust the hue, saturation and luminance of the optical diffusion effect. Color is either based on the captured image, its adjustments or the filter itself. Think of the Plaque Pro Mist and its ability to soften the highlights while also providing warmth to them. The effect depends on the brightness values they were shot in or which input or color handling is set up. Filters are sometimes used in a specific mix, which can be set up with just another copy of Diffusion. Halation results from a sandwiched color film, while the lens projects various brightness values at the negative film. The film layers allow the light to scatter and, given the layer's color duties, produce a colorful seam, especially around strong brightness contrast, like the visible light sources. When projected on the big silver screen, the red is the brightest and shows the smallest red while blue provides the opposite, dim but white. To get a quick result, use the presets or store a carefully crafted result for future use. To adjust the amount, use the slider controls to adjust the strength of the halation effect. With the size, the range of halation is adjusted based on a percentage of the total image size. Adapting the effect to anamorphic lens effects can be done easily with this option. Expanding or decreasing the spread of halation around highlights is intuitively done in the falloff parameter. Fine-tune the highlights only is the same as with diffusion. We can effortlessly control here the ratio of the effects towards the highlights. Adjusting the amount the halation effect radiates is equally simple. Color controls the RGB weighting of the halation effect. 
Most color film stocks have the red layer at the bottom, so the scattered light affects red the most, then green, and then some small amount of blue. You can think of this control as adjusting the amount of fallation per RGB channel. Emulsion spread. As the light scatters through the layers of film, it is spread out more and more. So typically the red channel will get the brightest, but the smallest amount of halation. The areas the blue channel gets the dimmest but broadest scattering of light. You can think of emulsion spread as adjusting the size of the halation effect per RGB channel. With these improvements, it has become much easier to create your personal signature look for your projects, be it to improve your practical shots or motion graphics.